under um, 0 degrees, it's minus 0.5 according to the dash and I'm inclined to believe it because it was <laughs> absolutely freezing when I just uh, did my walk around check just now. I'm, I'm one of those people that never usually feels the cold. Um, I'm happy enough with a hoodie on all year really, I just, it's just what I wear. But yeah, I had to um, find a hat and I wish I had some Just left 
Beaconsfield services uh, where I've had to be 45 minute break because we're driving from Southport to Eastbourne which is a little bit of a trek, just a little bit. For those of you that might not know where Southport is, it's basically just above Liverpool. So Liverpool to Eastbourne in one hit, it's um, yeah, it's a little bit far. But I've done, what had I driven for? About four hours I think I'd driven, I stopped. Um, at Warwick services because I needed I needed that blue and I had half a tank of diesel and I thought sod it two birds of one stone I'll just do it while I'm here so I filled up with everything there and then I sort of looked ahead on the sat nav and looked at how much time I had left and I realized that unless I stopped at Beaconsfield for me half an hour because I stopped at um, Nutsford for 15 minutes and, just to kind of split it up. But I realised if I didn't stop just now, um, I'd be stuck on the M25 too far away from any services. But it kind of works out because it's now two hours, it's just under 100 miles. It's two hours or so to get to the gig. And my driving time is reset to four hours and 24 minutes I've got left now. So far, touch wood, touch lots of wood, there isn't any in here, but you have to pretend. There has been no road closures, and I, I can't actually believe it's happened. Well, no road closures that affect me anyway. There's, there's been a couple of lane closures, but they've not actually been too full on. It's, um, no, it's been all right. Situation report. I have just left Malvin, Malvin, however you're um, supposed to say it, which I eventually got out of. Uh, there was a car parked on a double yellow line on the corner outside of the loading dock. So I had to ring the non emergency number, give them the reg, they traced the owner, he came out, he reckoned it was my fault that he'd been woken up at midnight. Um, and he moved it. So I'm now eventually on my way. Um, last night was interesting in the, we were in Eastbourne. Um, I got up, my alarm woke me up at the end of the show as normal. I've been charging my phone. I thought, eh, you know, the battery probably be right, but I, I tend to run the truck for five or 10 minutes when I get up um, because with like all the lights for the, for the um, back will be on and stuff like that, so I just give the battery a, a little bit of a boost. So I jumped in the driver's seat, went to turn the ignition on, and got greeted by um, a big warning light on the dash. Thank you very much, don't mention it. That said, engine fault, and a big red light that said stop flashed, and it all made a noise, and it wouldn't go anywhere. And I thought, ah, bollocks. So I turned the keys off, tried again, exactly the same thing. So I thought, right, this is um, a pain, not the end of the world, because right, the truck was on the loading dock and the ramp was already on it, so we could have loaded it and the guys could have gone, you know, they could have done their thing and left me there. Um, so I rang the bus, got him, I told him what was happening. While I was on the phone, I thought, I'll just try it again. You know, it's just had a couple of minutes now to sort itself out and it started so that was fine um, so we ran it I left it running for two hours while we loaded it up and while I was waiting for the equipment and stuff and went instead of driving to the Melvin gig drove to a 
daft imperial garage about eight miles away. I got managed to park up in a lay-by about two minutes away from there at half four in the morning. Got about an hour and a half sleep. Um, and then, uh, I can't remember what time, stupid o'clock in the morning as soon as it opened. Drove down there so they could plug it into the diagnostic computer, which told them that there was nothing wrong with it. Um, it was just computer says no. They said that it's it's one of those things that happens sometimes. Um, it just it will just throw the first fault code it can, um, and it'll just have a moment, and then five minutes later it'll be fine. They said don't worry about it unless it starts doing it regular. Thank you very much. Drive on your way. Uh, so I got to the gig at, I don't know what it was, half eight in the morning. And I thought there's no point going to bed because just as I nod off I'll have to get up and unload it. So I stayed up, wandered around town, found some breakfast, unloaded the truck and then slept all day. So um, that was interesting. And thankfully it was just a, a non-error, a non-fault nothing to worry about so anyway we are done in Malvern nearly on the main road out of town we're heading to Watford to Watford Coliseum which is now about 130 miles away and Tom Tom tells me it's gonna take two and a half hours and it's showing quite a lot of roadworks on the way. I also need to fill up with diesel. I've only got a quarter of a tank. Really, mate? What are you doing? Someone did that to me this morning, actually. Exactly the same situation, except I was going uphill and the obstruction was on their side of the road. And then, um, they made a face at me as if it was my fault and then they had to scrape their expensive Mercedes wheels on the kerb to get past me so that was justice. But yes, so apart from having to divert to a garage last night it was another smooth trip, a few lane closures but no full road closures. Considering that I'm going back pretty much the exact same way tonight. I'd right like to hope that tonight will be easy. Probably going to stop at Warwick Services. Because I know that's a BP. And I know it's on the way. Don't try and squeeze past me on the corner. Uh, but I don't need any ad blue. So. So yeah, that is that. So we've got to get that truck into there. Move that in the way. See what happens. I think this might take oh, get in. a couple of shunts. Can't remember how I did it last time. Oh, I'm sure I must have done it like this. It's just watching that wall and this proper pain in the arse of a gate that's never closed anyway. good on the wall at the moment looking good right let's just have a shifty 
I'm hoping if both the cameras stay on long enough, I should be able to do a split screen of this. So you can see what I'm seeing from my head cam. And you'll be able to see the camera that's on the dock. Right, I need to get out now. And sort a tail lift out. I'm going to look height wise. Because if I don't do it now, I ain't going to fit myself between the truck and the wall. ramp here or not. Shift you back. And we want to get as tight to the wall as we can. Remembering that as well as a six foot overhang, we've now got a tail lift poking out. I just got to be that I can't even see. I've just got to be extra wary of digging it into the wall. I'd rather go forward and back ten times than um, than bury it. As you can probably see, I can see um, a whole lot of nothing, I'm sort of relying on gut instinct, really. Let's have a look at that. Just got to be careful of this fence post. Came straight back. Hmm. I don't know if it will fit. I can never remember if they've got a ramp or not. So then, people, sit wreck. Situation report, we've just left Sunderland. I think the gig went well, I don't know, because I was asleep most of the day. Um, but it was a good gig, good get in, good crew, you know, the usual usual thing. The uh, day before, so yesterday, was a day off, which I spent at the luxurious Washington services on the A1 northbound. It was um, probably the most thrilling day off I've ever had, I think. Um, no, it was a bit rubbish. There was nothing to do there apart from watch films and TV on my laptop. And I think, word of advice to any other drivers that watch this, there must be quite a lot of diesel theft there because at least three uh, police cars, separate police cars, came through during the dark and um, had a quick kind of scout around the truck park. So I suspect that they have either fuel or load theft there. The day before that, where were we? The day before that we were in Burnley, which was a really good gig. Um, it was sold out and it was a Friday night in Burnley so everyone was Everyone was up for it. Um, not such an easy gig to get the gear into, but it wasn't the end of the world. And yeah, apart from that, you know, it's just been plain sailing really. We've got one more gig, which is, as I say, done firmly. Um, and then that'll be it. So this will probably be the last video. Um, I know I've got one day of work at the end of this, taking some stuff to 
um, epoxy window butlins at Skegness for the I think you know like they have these weekend you know package deals where there's like they have 80s 90s rock ones blues ones etc this one's a folk one um, I've just, just got to take a truckload of equipment down um, and then that is it so this will probably be the last video for a little bit depending on what other work I do over the Christmas period. I'm probably going to take a few days off um, once I've finished this because I need to buy a new car because my car's terminally ill. Um, it's losing loads of coolant water and it's burning loads of oil and uh, apparently it's got a flat tyre as well. Someone at the lockup has texted me. Um, the exhaust is nearly falling off pops out of gear, crunches into gear. It's not bad though, it's done well. 22 year old BMW that I bought for 400 quid about three years ago. And I've had just over 40,000 miles out of it, so it mustn't crumble too much. Um, so yeah, so I've got to look for a new car fairly sharpish. Then I've got a couple of gigs I'm actually going to as a ticket holder, which is a very rare occurrence. Um, and then yeah, so I, I'll probably end up doing some kind of agency work over Christmas just to kind of boost my income a bit. Um, hopefully some class one. If I end up doing some class one, I will more than likely take the head camera with me and um, see what footage I can get. If I end up just doing class two stuff or stuff that's really boring, or if I end up back on the army base, then obviously I can't film that. But, um, We'll see. I'll try and I'll try and sort of pipe something together because I think the next job I'll be on will be the same show that I toured with at the start of this year, which is out again. Um, and that'll be out. I think it goes out about mid, early to mid January, something like that. So, but I will give you all an update. I expect I'll uh, make a little video just to let people know what's going on. What's the roundabout? Second exit. So yeah, well we've got 150 miles to go, straight up the A1 really, over the fourth bridge, and then you're in Dunfermline, and if you blink and you drive too quickly, you're out of Dunfermline. I must... Bloody Tom Tom, talk over you every time that you try to talk. But I was gonna say, I must remember, even though Tom Tom does give in the speed limits on the bottom, that when we get to Scotland, the speed limits are different. And with the A1 up there only being dual carriageway, I'm only allowed to do 50 rather than 56. Why they just won't up the speed limit and catch up with England and Wales, I don't know. But but there are speed cameras about and I have read stories of the police pulling trucks over for doing a whole six mile an hour more than they're supposed to be so um, so that's a bit boring so yeah got a plan what to do with my day off tomorrow so are we full of diesel? Should be. Hey, full of diesel, full of AdBlue. With printouts, I can't even remember what they're for. 29th of the 11th, 2015. I think that's probably a bit out of date now. Bad, well, I don't remember. No, I still got that. Anyway. Uh, they can go in there. What do we want to listen to? We've got enough of Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson and Merle Haggard. If anyone likes American country music, I do recommend their album. Willie Nelson and Merle Haggard. An album called Django and Jimmy. Um, sod it. All songs. What shall we start with? Go down the list a bit. Um, find something that we like. I 
should like all of this really or it shouldn't be on my iPod. I don't know what I want to listen to. Does anyone else get that? When you've got all of this music and you just don't know um Just don't know what to go for. Turn that down a bit, otherwise YouTube will have a fucking hissy fit. Um, oh, not that one. It's a good song, but I didn't want that one. I want that one. Bit of motorhead, I think. So, seatbelt that doesn't retract properly. Just about like that, and pull it from behind the seat that off, engine on, that's on charge, reset the sat nerve, uh, my place is recent destinations, Alhambra, drive, yep those are alright, so heated mirrors on, wipers can go off, Ain't nobody gonna be on your side. I don't care. Exit. Drop off. Ain't nobody gonna ride. time I come here without needing to show my passport. I think I set my cruise to 50 now so I don't forget to put it down. I haven't been up this way to Scotland for a while. Usually we're going up to 
like Glasgow have got the M6 and then the M74, but um, it's quite rare that we'll come up this way. I've been down this way quite a few times, but it's been easy. I mean, it's a Sunday night, but it's been incredibly clear. Really easy trip. And there we are. Swing, there we go. Still haven't quite got my bearings. Unless it's just down here on the right. Turn the engine brake off. Oh no, here it is. I remember. So I have to take the front end into there. And then reverse it into here, but let's have a look. That looks clear to me. So... So I can turn it around here. Which I should be able to possibly. Make my life a little bit easier. So not actually the little offices. I can't remember. I don't think I would have had a GoPro at the start of the year when I was here. I don't think this is a place I'll have been to with a camera. Catch the curb. down there. It's a bit tight but it does fit. Just gotta make sure I leave enough room for me door to open. Oh if it's stuck. There's also some railings I seem to remember as well. belt off. Nothing on this side. I think the railings are on this side anyway. I can't really remember. Straight back. We just 
to go back until I'm in the alleyway. Something like that. There's a fire exit. Let's just go back past that. Job is a good one. It's a dark night. 